Hey, Patrick Murphy from Quarter Inch Off here. And doing a little side project here. Uh, going down to my basement steps. Um, had this wall that wasn't doing anything. So I figured I'd put one of those can storage things. The kind that you put the can in and it rolls down. So put plywood up. I'll paint it. Put a base piece of wood just because the concrete was all chipped away. Um, so just to give it a base. And the idea is I'll take strips of plywood to put in here for my dividers. And then depending on um, how big a can is, put a board out here or maybe come out a little bit more to hold the cans in. <clears throat> Probably do it about to here, about halfway up. Uh, and then put a board. And get this painted, get the first rails up, start measuring the cans and put it out. I'm leaving enough room here. If I want to replace this trim board, I can replace it. Um, I don't think I will though. I think I'll leave these on here, but uh, that's it. For the can dividers, I cut strips of plywood approximately four inches wide by 24 inches long. To get repeatable sized cuts, I set up a stop block at my miter saw station and cut down all the dividers to the same size. The dividers will separate the cans from one another. However, to be able to grab a can off the rack, we will need to cut notches in the divider for my fingers to grab the can. I found creating a V notch one inch up from the bottom of the divider was sufficient for my needs. To ensure all the notches were aligned, I clamped all the dividers together and used my circular saw with the blade at an angle to make two cuts. Once the notches were cut, I used a Craig Pocket Foreman to cut pocket holes along the bottom, side, and top of each divider. With the notches and pocket holes cut, I painted the dividers and screwed them in place based on the size of the can for each slot. Here we can see how the notches in the dividers work to allow me to grab the cans. In order to stack cans in the dividers, we need a way to keep the cans in their slots. To do this, I added can retainers to each divider. This keeps all the cans from falling out of their slots. However, given each slot holds different sized cans, we will need to trim the top and bottoms of each can retainer strip. This will allow space at the top to place new cans in the slot, as well as the bottom to allow you to remove the cans. This is sort of a hack job, but it works. Back here at our can rack, I cut down the edges here um, for the size of can that will go in each of them to make sure top and bottom the cans could come in. And then I use my painter's putty to putty in all the nail holes and spots and try to do the screws. Screws don't always work, as you can tell, but it looks better than a screw head sitting in there. I'm not worried about the pocket holes in the back of these rails just because I may want to move these at some point um, so it would be easy enough to chip off the painter's putty get to the screws and unscrew the rail and unscrew uh, the dividers and move them if needed. Uh, let this dry for a few days sand them down and then ready to paint. The last and final thing I need to do is put little um, triangle pieces in here probably just glue those in and that's so when the can comes down here, it'll kick out a little bit. Now I did put these notches in each one so you can actually
grab the can. Uh, the very large cans come out, I won't need a triangle in the back. The smaller cans will need a little bit of a triangle just to push the can forward a little bit. And then we should be good. Uh, I'll paint all that in the triangles at once and put the cans in. Yeah, I scratched it up cutting these out. Um, but once I paint those, you won't notice, won't see it. It's not a museum furniture piece. It's to hold cans. It's going to get all dented and scratched up anyway with the cans. So. Okay, and here we have our fully finished lower. I only did the lower can rack here. Let me get up here a little bit so you can see. Put it in my basement stairway here. So, I got the dividers, dividers mounted in with pocket holes. I got the front cut for the size of cans that are going in. So, some of these I have bigger cans than others. So, to help keep them in, do it that way. As you can see. And put these blocks in yesterday that allow I find the right one here. You just decide which one you put it in. And I made these smaller ones for the tuna. You just slide it in, slide it down, and then that corner block bottom we'll just kick it out and I just epoxy these in I'm not gonna paint them or anything they're gonna be hidden as long as you have cans in here I guess but uh, that's pretty much it now we'll fill it up with cans here we have our finished project all loaded up with canned goods